Good morning. Welcome to TMMS Productions. Today we are going to look at the actual vernier calipers. We are going to look at its different parts and we are going to understand how to read the different measures that it takes. To begin with, let us see this part. This is the main scale. This is the window on which there are small calibrations that is the vernier window and this is the vernier scale. Now I'm going to take it closer so that you will be able to see. There, these are the markings. Now this is the vernier window that keeps on moving. Here you can see this, I'm moving it. So you will see that as you move, these two are the outside jaws, these are the inside jaws. These two outside jaws will take the external diameters and these two are going to give you the internal measures, internal diameter. Apart from that, you also have, can you see? This side, this is the tail. Can you see that? Now this tail will take the depth of any bottle. So you are able to see the different parts, the outside jaws, these being the inside jaws, and then we have the tail of it which is going to give you here. These ones are going to give you the depth of the bottle or depth of the pen cap etc. Now as you can see the main scale has the zero over here and these are all calibrated in centimeters. So each small division is going to be a millimeter. So here we have this is 1 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 3 bit millimeter like that. Now, let us bring the two jaws together. Now, when we bring the two jaws together, you will see that the vernier window, the calibrations over here, this is the zero of the vernier. And this is the zero of the main scale. You can see the main scale through this window like so. And we have to make sure that we bring the two jaws together and then we check whether the zero of the vernier scale and the zero of the main scale if they are coinciding. Now let me just magnify it for you. Now, normally the zero of the vernier and the zero of the main scale, they should coincide. But here you can see that there is little bit of gap here and then you will see which one of these is coinciding. Now these ones are vernier divisions. Vernier divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See up to here there are 10 divisions and the distance from here to here that is 9 millimeters and that is divided into 10 equal parts. So the number of divisions on the vernier scale from here to here. These are 10 divisions but how much is the length of this from here to here? These are 9 millimeters. So now, if we want the accurate measures, we have to check whether this 0 and this 0, they are coinciding. It is the first division that is coinciding. You can see that this 0 is slightly on the right of this 0 of the main scale. And so, here we see the first division is coinciding. And so we have to record that.
So, we write over here the number of divisions on the vernier scale that is 10. That is in this vernier window from here to here there are 10 divisions. The smallest division on the main scale that is on this main scale the smallest division is from here to here that is the millimeter. So we write 1 millimeter which is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter and the least count of the vernier or the vernier constant is defined as the smallest division on the main scale that is 1 division on main scale ms stands for main scale upon number of divisions on the vernier scale. So the smallest division on the main scale is 0 0.1 centimeter upon number of divisions that is 10 and so we get our least count as 0 0.01 centimeter. So you will see that it gives us accuracy up to a hundredth of a centimeter. Now when we look at this centimeter from here to here there are 10 divisions and each division is one tenth of it but we are going to get tenth of this millimeter which means of this centimeter it is going to be the hundredth of it. So now that we understood that let us see how we can take the different readings. Let us take this pen and let us take its diameter. So I am holding this and now I am going to move the jaws of the vernier till they grip this pen. Now what we have to do is we have to look at the main scale. Now let us see we already have the reading so now I'll just zoom in. Now let us see where is the first division of the vernier. You can see this is the first division here this is the zero. Now zero is starting between this division and this division. Now can you see this is this is 1. This long line over here, this is 1. So this line becomes 9 millimeter. And where is our vernier 0? It is starting after this 8th division. This is 8th division, 9th division, and this is 1 centimeter. So are you able to see that this first line? is after the after the eighth division so our main scale reading is 8 millimeter now we have to see which division of the vernier is coinciding with any one of the divisions over here okay so it is 1 2 3 4 and 5 can you see the fifth division in co is coinciding now? It is coinciding with the main scale like so. Are you able to see the fifth division? See the fifth division coinciding here? So we will find the diameter of the pen. We already have taken the reading over here with this. So we are going to say the main scale reading. The main scale reading was 8 millimeter as I showed you earlier. So that was 0 0.8 centimeter. And the vernier scale division which coincided was the fifth division. Now in order to get the vernier scale reading, we must take the number of division and multiply it by the least count, which means the number of division that was coinciding was 5 and we multiplied by least count which is 0 0.01 See here we have written that centimeter which is going to give us 
ज़ीरो पॉइंट ज़ीरो फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड सो आवर टोटल रीडिंग विल बी इक्वल टू मेन स्केल रीडिंग प्लस वन ईयर स्केल रीडिंग वॉट इज अ मेन स्केल रीडिंग इट इज पॉइंट एट सेंटीमीटर प्लस वन ईयर स्केल रीडिंग इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड वेन वी एट द टू टूगेदर वी विल हैव जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो यू सी दैट द डायमीटर ऑफ द पेन वी हैव गॉट अप टू टू डेसीमल प्लेसेस दैट इज हंड्रेड ऑफ अ सेंटीमीटर नॉर्मल रूलर विल बी एबल टू गिव अस ओनली अप टू वन प्लेस ऑफ डेसीमल बट यर बिकॉज ऑफ द वन ईयर वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द एक्यूरेसी अप टू टू प्लेसेस ऑफ डेसीमल नाउ रिमेंबर वेन वी हैड ब्रॉट दिस जॉज टूगेदर दिस जॉ टच इज यर रिमेंबर द जीरो ऑफ द वन ईयर स्केल वॉज नॉट को इन साइडिंग और इट वॉज नॉट इन लाइन विद द जीरो ऑफ द मेन स्केल एंड इट वॉज वन डिविजन ऑन द राइट and so there was a zero error so we will mention the zero error as well so our zero error was positive because a zero of the vernier was on the right of the zero of the main scale which means our zero error was positive and so the zero correction is going to be negative now in that also understand that we will say how many vernier scale divisions were there remember we had only one and that multiplied by the least count and so it is going to give you negative here and it will be negative one division multiplied by 0.01 that was our least count can you see that over there centimeter and so that is negative 0.01 centimeter that is our zero correction and so the true reading is going to be our actual reading that is 0.85 cm minus 0.01 cm and that gives us 0.84 cm and that is the diameter of that pen which means that the radius is going to be half of this and so we will have diameter equal to 0.84 cm and the radius is going to be 0.84 divided by 2 which is 0.42 cm now let us see how we can take the internal radius now for internal radius and the internal diameter i have a pen cap here and the inside jaws are going inside that and i'm going to move this like so so that it is nicely snugly fitting there and now i'm going to look at the main scale reading now the main scale reading the main scale reading is here now this is the zero of the vernier scale and it is after again after it okay are you able to see that this is the zero of the vernier scale 
and this is 1 centimeter this is 9 millimeter this is 8 so it is just after 8 now after 8 it is the first division that is coinciding can you see this is the this is the zero and this is the first division which is coinciding with this nine millimeter can you see that so it is going to be one division here so now let us do this mentally what is our main scale reading eight millimeter as you can see that eight millimeter means how many centimeters is going to be pointed centimeters and which division of vernier scale is coinciding the first one the first one multiplied by least count will give us 0 0.01 centimeter and now we add that reading to the main scale reading so 0.8 plus 0 0.01 that is 0 0.81 centimeter so that is our diameter but we have to yet subtract the zero correction so we'll subtract that 0 0.01 so that will give you 0 0.80 so we understood how to take the reading of this pen cap the internal radius okay now let us see if we can take the depth of it as well now let us see how we take the depth of this pen cap now I'm holding it like so, I'm keeping it like so and I'm going to move this. Okay, that's it. The tail is not moving any further. So this is the depth. Now let us see our reading. Now for the depth, again, let us look at our main scale reading. Our main scale reading is, this is 3 centimeter. And so it is one division, two division, so 2.7 and 2.8. It is between 2.7 and 2.8. I have zoomed in just now and you can see which division is coinciding. Just look very carefully. So your first this is zero this is not coinciding this is also not coinciding this was also no this also no this also no this also no and this one can you see over here this one the eighth one is coinciding the eighth one is coinciding with 3.5. Can you see that? This is a straight line absolutely. So our vernier scale reading is 8 divisions. So 8 will be multiplied by the least count. So main scale is 2.7 and then this is the eighth division. Let us see how we do our calculations now. So for the depth of pen cap we had the main scale reading which was 2.7 centimeter then a vernier scale division was eighth division and so vernier scale reading was vernier scale division multiplied by least count which is 8 division 
multiplied by 0.01 cm which is equal to 0.08 cm. Now the total reading is going to be equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading which is 2.7 cm plus 0.08 cm that gives us 2.78 cm and the true reading will be the reading that we got 2.78 cm minus the zero correction which was 0 0.01 cm and so our true reading is 2.78 minus this which will be 2.77 cm and that is how we get our readings from the vernier calipers so i hope you have understood how to handle vernier calipers as you can see that it gives us accuracy up to the hundredth of a centimeter and so we are able to have more accuracy compared to the normal centimeter ruler so i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching